In this session, we are learning to reread our writing and to edit and improve it. Yesterday, you wrote some sentences all about plants. But in this lesson, we're going to reread what we have written and check that it makes sense and we can edit and improve it. We're going to use the fresh eyes approach. Remember, we are going to read what we have written, not what we think we have written. The first thing we need to do is ensure that our writing makes sense. Therefore, we need to make sure that we've got capital letters in the right places. We've punctuated our sentences correctly. We need to make sure we've not missed any words out by mistake, because that can happen sometimes. And we need to make sure that we've not written any words twice or maybe three times by mistake. Now, I've got some sentences I've wrote and I want you to check with me for any of these mistakes. I'll read it to you. I've got my title at the top. It says plants. Plants keep growing until they die. Some plants live for a short time, but some trees live for hundreds of years. All plants start as a tiny seed or spore. Roots, stems and leaves all grow from this. Then I've got a subheading which you might use in year two, but probably won't use in year one. Flowers and fruits. Many plants use flowers to make new seeds. Pollen from the flowers is carried by insects to the inside of the flowers. The pollen joins the ovules to make new seeds. Some plants do not make seeds inside flowers. Some have tiny spores which are blown by the wind to start a new plant. Conifer trees have cones instead of flowers. The seeds develop inside these woody cones. Now the first thing on my list is to look for capital letters. So I'm going to go through with a different coloured pen. So I wrote in black and this time I'm going to use a green pen just so you can see clearly any changes I make. I'm going to look for capital letters. Now my heading at the top has a capital letter, which is great. It should be nice and tall compared to my other letters. Let's look through the text. So I've got a capital letter at the start of that sentence. That's great. I'm just going to scan until I see a full stop. Oh, there's a full stop. Now this word needs to have a capital letter. I've got the right letter, S, but it needs to be nice and big. So we're going over the top and making it bigger. And I'm going to keep scanning. Every time I've got a full stop, I need to check it's got a capital letter. Full stop, capital letter. And then I've checked my subheading for capital letters and the start of the new paragraph, which you might be looking to use in year two. And I just go through making sure I've got capital letters after every single full stop, which is great. Now, keeping the same colour pencil, I'm going to look for full stops now. So just checking as I read through it again, use my finger, I've got full stops and that my sentences aren't too long. I can see I've got one here and one here, but at the end of this paragraph here, I've forgotten it. So I'm going to put it in with my new colour pen. And I'm going to go through the second paragraph and I'm just going to check. Oh, I've missed this one out here as well. Fantastic. Got them two things. I'm going to put a little tick on my sheet to know what I've done them. Missed out any words? Let's have a little look. So you'll notice that if you read out loud, sometimes if you read in your head, you won't notice. But if you read out loud, they will. So I'm going to read it again. Plants keep growing until they die. Some plants live for a short time, but some trees live for hundreds of years. All plants start as a tiny seed or spore. Roots, stems and leaves all grow from this. Many plants use flowers to make new seeds. Pollen from the flowers is carried by insects to the inside of. Oh, to the inside. I thought it said of. I haven't done that. So I'm going to draw a little arrow. I'm going to write the tricky word of, which is oh. And uh, there we go. Let's check it now. Pollen from the flowers is carried by insects to the inside of other flowers. That's much better now, it makes sense. I'll just carry on to check. I've not missed any more. The pollen joins the ovules to make new seeds. Some plants do not make seeds inside flowers. 
Some have tiny spores which are blown by the wind to start a new plant. Conifer trees have cones instead of flowers. The seeds develop inside these woody cones. Oh, just got my full stop there. Yes, perfect. I can take that off. And as well, I know because I've just read it out loud, I've not repeated any words by the same, um, making a mistake there. Next thing that's not on that list, I'm just going to check my spellings. Sometimes when I'm doing my writing and I'm thinking about what word comes next in my handwriting, I might misspell something. So I'm just going to go through and just check that I've spelt words right. And if I need to make a change, I will. Growing, guru. Now the O sound, we have got an O, A, but in this word, it is an O, W. So I'm going to change it to a W. I'm going to cross the A out. Growing, that's much better. Some plants live. Does anyone know what goes at the end of live? Yes, that's right. It's an E. It's a silent E. Um, keep looking. My next word is all. All we should know now, it doesn't start with up, oh, it should be a capital A. And it's a capital letter because it's at the start of a new sentence. If I carry on, many, it's not an E, it's an A. So going over the top and changing it to an A. And if I keep going through, make, it should be M, A, and then it's kicking K and an E. It is a split A sound. So therefore, I've got m, a, k, make. As we know, sum is spelt wrong, so it should be capital S, which I've got, but it is a o, a m, and a then an e at the end. We should know that tricky word by now. And I've spelt it right here, which is great. And last one, I think, is of. It's not o, v, it's o, f. Of make change that to a f. Fantastic. Now I've edited my work, I can see that I've made it better. After you've done that, we're going to think about how you could make your writing even better. So you could add an extra sentence to explain something. You might be able to use a different sentence type, such as a question or an exclamation. Year twos, you should be able to do that. Year one, maybe you could have a go with a grown up. You might be able to use adjectives, they're describing words, to provide extra detail for the reader. And once you've made sure that your piece of writing is the best it could possibly be, pass your finished work to a family member and ask them to read it. Ask them to tell you two things that they really liked about your writing and something which maybe you could work on for next time. And remember, when you've done all of this, send your teacher a photo of your work so we can have a look too. We can't wait to see it.